Hey guys, today I'll be talking about how Ford might potentially beat Tesla. Most of you, when you guys press into this video, you guys must be thinking, oh, no, is another guy that thinks of Ford very optimistically? No, uh, he's very optimistic about things that are not Tesla against Tesla. He's one of those guys that talk nonsense because, you know, there's, there's Ford. It's Ford. We're talking about EV industry here. Don't compare the amount of profit they earn right now. You know, it's about the future. We're moving forward. Technologies of Ford is being left behind into the dust by Tesla. You know the situation. Ford is gonna be nothing in a few years. <sighs> if you're one of those people out there that thinks I'm one of those guys, you're wrong. Because I'm not very optimistic about Ford because I, I don't like Ford. I personally, if I had a choice to buy any uh, petrol car in real life, I wouldn't even buy Ford. But that's besides the point today. The reason I say this is because I actually like Tesla. And the thing is, I'm the type of YouTuber that like to address the problem. Ford is playing a catch-up game. And they've played the right cards, in my opinion. So what they did is partner with a company in China named CATL. I'm not going to get into too much about this company because I don't really know much about it. But what I do know is they are the top of China's technology in terms of battery. And yes, I'm talking about EV car batteries. So what's so genius about Ford just partnering up with a company in China that is good at batteries? How is that going to help them beat Tesla? I mean, it's just batteries. Plus Tesla is having the 4680 coming soon. So, but I'm going to explain to you what's so genius about this. So the Ford deal with this CATL company is not that simple as if, oh, we're going to uh, take your batteries, we're going to merge with our car, we're going to share the work together. No, no. Ford is just like, so my deal for you is we make a partnership, all my vehicles will use your battery but you're gonna do all the work like literally but before I get started why would Ford want to partner with a China company it's China why would Ford partner with a okay let's not get into the political part but why would they partner with them why why right well it's pretty easy as an answer because Ford was gonna die anyways okay die is a bit dramatic but you get my point after a while after 10 years 2035 that's the time that's the point of time where most of the petrol cars will be replaced to EV at that point EV will be the official vehicles that are gonna be used on the road and of course there are cars they are losing I mean, think about it. even in this petrol time, there are many different car industrial makers that died. Not died, but lose. Lose and lose. Eventually, some of them bankrupt, this, this and that. So, Ford knows that when they get into a time where they have a transition between petrol cars to EV cars, they know they can't keep up. In terms of technology, cars, price, can't keep up. So why not just give it a wild shot? Take the shot, you never know what's gonna happen. Plus they made an extraordinary deal for them. I'm gonna explain. So what's so good for this China company? Why would this China company agree to this? Ford literally call you to do every job, everything. I mean, you have to think about two sides on this thing because they're both human beings behind these companies. I mean, why would you agree to something that you have to do everything? First of all, they can get into the American market. Oh yeah, 
they can get into the America's market easier. It's great, right? I mean, you are going to be the official battery of this big car company currently in America. And every time anybody just open up the Ford car, see what battery is inside, CATL will be written on the battery. And because of this, and if it works well, of course, many other EV automakers will start buying battery from them. Such a win, such a win, right? If you think that's a win, let's talk about how Ford's gonna win. Just think about it, okay? Your company is gonna fall. What do you do? You found an opportunity to work with this person. That this person is so successful in technology that when you make this agreement with him, this partnership, all he gains from you is your name, branding, that's it. And you get all his help, all his workers to help you grow your brand just because they can get into your market. So it's a huge win for Ford. And do you know where they're gonna build the factory? They're gonna build it in America. Isn't that great? First of all, you get batteries that are potentially way, not way ahead, but ahead of your competitors that you previously had huge trouble facing. And now you not just get them to provide you battery, you get them to help you provide technology as well. Your whole car as a whole. It's just ridiculous. Such a great deal. I mean, if you take a look at the big picture now, then you say, wow, Tesla's really in huge trouble. And yes, many YouTubers can tell you competition doesn't exist for Tesla, but that's not true. I'm pretty sure BYD and this Ford with this new battery company partnership is gonna be somewhat affecting them. Competition exists and it does exist. There's no debate about uh, Tesla's on top 100%. There's no way it's gonna, no such thing. There's no such thing as zero competition. There is competition out there and people have to acknowledge that. And let me tell you, if you think Ford or this China CA TL company is getting a win out of this. America's getting more win. Why? America, America, why? Remember when I said that the factory was gonna be built in America? Yeah, they're gonna get free technology from China. Free technology from China, right into their country. I mean, if you ask me if they're gonna be happy about it, yeah. I'm getting free technology, free new resources, researches that some of our technology nowadays have not keep up in certain areas because different country wins in different certain areas in terms of technology. And second of all, which is what America's apparently pretty proud about right now, is they can increase employment rates for Americans. How's that possible? Well. There's gonna be a lot of China people coming to America to work for their own company, of course. But yet, America can just say alone, like, no, no, there's, you cannot have 100% Chinese in the factory. You must have 60%, I'm not sure of the numbers, but you must have a certain amount of percentage in that factory that has to be American. Estimately, 2,500 new jobs created. Easy. Employment rates are going up. Mm. It's gonna be a huge problem for recession to happen, but that's not for today. So if you think Ford got a big win, America got a bigger one. I really think that Tesla should look out for this one, especially with the 4680 still trying to come out. Anyways, if you find this interesting, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.